Good morning, Get Wrecked for Recovery crew. So it's day 57 of the Redeeming Eden Cycle Tour. R-E-C-T, Get Wrecked for Recovery. A 48-state, four-year ride for addiction recovery awareness. Each day I pedal for someone who's passed away from addiction, and the whole end goal is to build a rehab. And this is state number four, Montana, on the ride to Ragbri 2022. A 4,500-mile loop around the Midwest, Ohio to Erie Trail, Michigan's Upper Peninsula, Glacier National Park, Yellowstone National Park, and east to Ragbri the last week of July. And it's all to raise awareness that addiction recovery options are available, that you don't have to die in your addiction. There's churches, Celebrate Recoveries, and Rescue Missions all over the nation, all over the world, that just want to help you, talk to you, and love you if you find yourself battling addiction. So yeah, here at the Travel Lodge in Miles City, Montana, uh, headed down to Forsyth today. 44 miles, uh, quite a bit of elevation it looks like. I don't know. I, I don't have the Adventure Cycling Association maps on this interstate, so I just kind of got to go with what Google says, and Google is such a liar <laughs> uh, all the time. Like, there's never not a time where Google's not, you know, completely wrong about elevation. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to get on the road. I got to go grab some breakfast, um, charge, finish charging my phone. I actually didn't put it on the charger. I had my AirPods charging. Um, and so finish charging my phone, finish uploading the video. It's all done and ready. I just have to actually let it finish getting up to YouTube. And then I will start to pedaling. But yeah, excited about what God has in store for this day and excited to show you guys whatever that may be. So without further ado, let's get on the road. Well, that turned out to be some unexpected awesomeness. So I'm like 26 miles in, I've got to get to 44. Uh, but this is gorgeous. There's some railroad tracks down here and you can kind of see all the way up the Yellowstone River to way back where I came down the hill on the other side. Uh, way, way back there into this valley. I just climbed back up out of it. Uh, and it's a pretty nice perch up here. I just absolutely love um, the scenery from up here on this hillside. It's not too high. I would say maybe 125 feet, but it was a nice mile long climb to get up here. Um, yeah, I'm going to sit here for a minute. One thing that you could, I'd like you to pay attention to here is that this board is built this way to block wind coming from that direction. That's the way I'm going. <laughs> So as you could probably uh, pull from that little bit of, glean from that little bit of information, I've been into the wind all day long. It has been a fight. Uh, it's been good. 
Uh, I'm looking ahead at the next couple of days, what they look like. It looks like I've got some inclement weather coming in. It's going to snow in Yellowstone, but the same front that's coming through, I'm just north of Yellowstone now. Um, and so that same front that's coming through uh, at this elevation is just going to be cold rain and uh, headwinds. And there's like a day with some high headwinds. I know that Mason uh, had mentioned, uh, he sent me a text and just kind of checked in with me. Uh, the guy who Lauren put me in touch with and said, hey, look, on the 1st, I'll be back in Billings so I can take you, you know, to Bozeman from there. Uh, so I'm going to sit down and really look at tonight um, what I've got ahead. I wanted to get way far ahead so that I'd be, you know, close enough to get to my family. I did not want to be late for that or have to have Christy get the van and drive to me. So I think now I kind of am close enough to Billings where I can space it out a little bit more. I might do ride for a day, take a zero, or ride for a day, wait out the storm, and then ride into Billings. I don't really know how I'm going to do that. i got to find a good campsite next to somewhere where I can eat, um, figure all that out. There's going to be a lot of figuring that has to happen tonight to figure out what the next few days are going to be. Uh, either way, I will definitely keep you guys in the loop on what I end up deciding to do. And uh, yeah, for right now, I think I'm just going to like sit here under this thing and take a nice nap. Maybe work on the video, go ahead and get some of it knocked out since I'll be riding in late. But I'm waiting on the wind to die down just a little bit more. It's still not too bad, but I'd like it to be a little less, especially with the hills. The hills have been giant today. So Anyway, I'm going to do that and you'll see more of the ride on in uh, right about now. Okay, so I just rolled in here to Forsyth and it's gorgeous. Like you can't see the sunset and the stuff that's happening around, but like this feels so good. It's such a neat little town. 
Uh, absolutely loving this town. It has been a fight to get here. So much climbing, so much wind. The wind died off after I left that um, last rest stop. But like for the last seven miles, I was just a shell of a human riding the bike. Like that's how I felt. I was just moving my legs and almost feeling sick. Uh, I got it done though, rolled into town. Look at this theater. I mean, mo good, mo great movie since 1930. You know, that's just so cool to me. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna roll down here to the saloon, grab some dinner, and then I gotta go back the other way and set up camp. Uh, it's probably gonna be after dark setting up camp, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just glad to be here. That was a crazy huge day. So yeah, you'll see more of my little trip around as I go and make those things happen. But I just wanted to check in with you guys because I am so glad to be in this town. Rolling down the street, there was like lilac everywhere in full bloom. And the difference, the stark difference between the interstate and all those exhaust fumes and brake fume smells from, you know, the brake pads on the hills and rolling into like that just effervescent beauty of the lilac was just night and day difference, night and day. Anyway, I'm starving, so let me go take care of that. You'll see more of that right about now. All right, so I did make it to the campground, uh, and it is noon the next day. Uh, so I got here last night, set up camp. There are so many little bugs and gnats flying in around uh, around in the air that like I had to just get in there quick. But I got to show you, I wanted to wait until today to film this, and I've just been lazy this morning. I'm taking a complete zero. I've had time to look at the route ahead. Got a hundred miles to go to get to Billings. We've got six days to get there, which means I can do 25 miles a day for four days and have two complete zeros. Uh, the weather looked so good today uh, that I just chose to take a zero today and enjoy this campground. Uh, when I got here, I was super glad to be here. But there is the Yellowstone River. And not only that, um, there's a waterfall right down this way that I'll insert here in this image. Uh, and it is just gorgeous. Like I could hear it all night. The only bad thing is, is that out west, if you're on any road and you come to any town, uh, those towns are always on a railroad track. So I did have train horns all night last night. Uh, cool thing about, I went to eat at the saloon last night and ended up having a conversation with a guy named Doug that owns a motel in town. And he almost offered like a free room, but he said, I just don't have any availability. Uh, and Jess there at the bar and uh, ordered a pizza. When I walked through the door, a guy named Riley, who was celebrating his 21st birthday from two days ago, uh, was like, I walked in, I was like, do you guys have anything to eat? And she was like, um, we can, you know, order pizzas and stuff. And like, Riley looked over, he's like, you hungry, bud? Do you like pizza? And I was like, you have no idea. So as tired as I was, as exhausted as I was, I literally walked into a brand new fresh hot pizza chicken bacon alfredo uh ranch some kind of it was amazing fresh hot pizza to eat while i waited on the pizza that i ordered to eat so it was just a god thing it was so cool uh but yeah finished up there brought my pizza back got in the tent it was super dark set up the tent in the just pitch black night uh, went to sleep and then woke up this morning and I've been looking at weather, looking at days, looking at routes, trying to figure out if I needed to get out and move, what I needed to do. Do I need to start cutting and editing this video or can I wait and you know get it out tonight or later this afternoon? So that's what I've decided to do. I'm going to take a zero. I'm headed up to Dairy Queen now. I'm going to go eat, work on this video, get it cut, edited, pasted, posted, uploaded, sent to you guys, which you're seeing it right now so you know that I got it done. Uh, and then I'm going to spend the rest of the day kind of meandering around through, uh, through town, checking things out. 
Uh, there's a movie theater. I might watch a movie there tonight. It looks really cool. They've been showing movies since the 1930s. I showed you that earlier. I remember now, like it's 15 hours after I recorded that, so I'm having to remember what I did yesterday at the end of the video. But yeah, that movie theater, the Roxy, I'd like to go there and just watch a movie just to, just to see it. But it's all so old. It's like 1800s type town, uh, railroad town. They said it was started by Chinese immigrants that were building the railroads. And that that uh, saloon actually used to have a brothel upstairs, uh, which is crazy to me. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to do all those things. Super great day today, even though it's tomorrow. It was a super great day today. Uh, huge ride, huge ride, huge hills, 2,000 feet of climbing, 45 miles. Um, yeah, I need some rest. Like that was, that took everything out of me. I, I was a shell of a man riding that bike. Like there was no me left. It was just thoughts and road and move legs. So, uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated as things go along. And this is the end of the video for the day. So if you know anybody who's passed away from addiction in any form or fashion, please drop their name in the comments or find me through the pop link in the description. And I would love to ride for your person and celebrate their life with you for a day. If you know anybody who's actively addicted, anybody in general, please share this with them. Thank you so much, Get Wrecked for Recovery Crew, every one of you that is liking every video, commenting on every video, sharing every video, and those of you that are subscribed to the YouTube channel. Uh, the analytics love it. I do too. And who knows, it might save a life. Uh, don't forget, Redeeming Eden is a nonprofit ministry through International Gospel Outreach. That link is also in the Popple link. You can go there and find out more about Redeeming Eden and about the Cody Jordan Forever Funeral Fund which is a fund I started to help families that lose loved ones to addiction with paying funeral costs. So yeah, from here at the East Rosebud Campground in Forsyth, Montana, I love you guys. Jesus loves you. I'll see you later. Have a good night.